Hi there. Square Enix. So, I am... Uh, it is the 30th year anniversary of Final Fantasy, technically. That actually happened back in December. So I'm a little late. I'm a little late. Pro Jared did a series of Final Fantasy 1. The original four. I decided, you know what, 30th year anniversary, let's play some Final Fantasy this year. We're going to try, I'm going to try to get through as many Final Fantasies as possible. And we'll see what happens. Um... We are playing the PSP version, because there is no PC version yet. And it's actually my favorite remake. Um... Yeah, where's this guy when we were playing the game? I mean, I know they were trying to give the Warrior of Life an actual persona, instead of just being one of the faceless six characters, but... They could have just used Warrior. I hate his helmet. I hate his helmet. So some might be asking, you know, uh, what's your first Final Fantasy? Uh, probably seven. Um, introduced to me at a friend's house, you know. My mom was really anti-magic when I was a kid. Um, Christian family. Yeah, look at me now! Playing games full of magic and mystery and so on and so forth. Final Fantasy! Of course. Let's start off with Lunas. Um. Soul. No, I want to change his damn job. Solar. There we go. Red Mage. Star and Neb. It's a nebula. Now, in Pro Jared series, he named his after his friends. But the problem with my in my case, three of them would be Tony. Because Tony, 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 Tony. Like all my friends are named Tony. So, yeah, we and we, that would go very well. So We'll just stick with my space theme here, and we got Luna, Soul, Star, and Neb. Let's begin. The world lies shrouded in darkness. A prophecy patiently awaiting its fulfillment. When darkness fails the world, four warriors of light shall come. After a long journey, four young travelers dig 
did at last appear. And in the hand of each was clutched a pistol. Welcome to Final Fantasy! Let's go buy shit. Let's take a peek at your reflection in the water. Ugh, you filthy. Wash up already. Alright, let's start with... Two rapiers, a hammer, two chain mail. One takes care of them as fighters. Equipment, optimal, optimal. Now we need some magic. Let's do black magic first. Fire for you. Fire for you. Sleep for you. Thunder for you. Thunder for you. I still have to buy Cure for Red Mage and Protect for White Mage. So we need about a hundred gil still. The king is searching for the prophesied glorious light. Those crystals! You must see the king at once! Uh, okay. Welcome, travelers. I am told you carry crystals. Is this true? Alright, I'm gonna stop with them. Oh, Majesty, we cannot be certain that these are the words foretold by the prophecy. Yet they stand before us with the crystals, and I cannot dismiss this mere coincidence. Crystal bears, there is a task I would ask of you. Will you not rescue my daughter, Sarah? God in the night wants in his majesty's service is abducted Princess Sarah. I ask for your aid in the name of his majesty, King of Cornelia, who never gets a name. You if you see the queen, she has a name. The princess has a name. This guy doesn't have a name. I have heard that you wish to journey to the continent to our north. The bridge leading to the north was lost long ago, making passage impossible. If you can rescue Sarah, I will have the bridge rebuilt. As a sign of my gratitude, now go, warriors of light, and do not fail me! Alright, I guess. Alright, here we go. First part of any good Final Fantasy, grinding. So. 
Damn! So, welcome to Final Fantasy. This is this is a really good game. I I do think the original Final Fantasy is a really good, good one. And it definitely did start a lot of the series roots. It's sad that today it's so modern. And it, everything is so modern today. I know everybody wants to, to argue with me on that one. Well, 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 even the original Final Fantasy had modern tech in it. Yeah, but it's a difference between having elements of modern tech and showing up on a train. And I'm actually thinking of Final Fantasy 13, not Saturday. Now, unlike in our original Final Fantasy, where uh, you had to... Uh, you had to worry about targeting um, enemies as you killed them. And if you targeted an enemy that was killed by an enemy before your turn start... Well, not, by an ally before a turn starts... Still don't have enough guilt. I don't even know if that's enough for the rest at the end. The game has also been rebalanced. Uh, it's not quite as hard as it was. Uh, you needed to be like level 4 or 5 to take on Darling in the original game safely. Here you can do it like by level 3. Yeah, now you can just do the old-fashioned, just target whatever, and everything dies, everything dies. There we go. Now we can rest. Get some magic back. I miss little ditties from old RPGs. Get to you know, when you go to bed and they give you these little these cool little quick songs. Oh, I hope I'm gonna be able to make the series really bad. I'm not as interesting as people like Pro Jared, so you know, trying to come up with things to talk about is gonna be can be a little a little hard for me, but uh the best, and, and like I said, I hope you have some, you have some fun watching, watching me play this game. I have to, have to fix that. Uh, let's see, new status. I still was 20. I'm gonna get to level 3, and then we're gonna move on, which by then, we should be able to afford the last spell. And see, this remake, they went back to actually having MP. They went to having MP instead of using the Dungeon Dragon style uh, spells per day, which I enjoy immensely more. Spells per day makes more sense in a game like. Dungeon Dragons, because the magic tends to be really, really powerful, and a way to balance that is by making it where you can only use so much, and here, while magic is powerful, it's a great tool, that's what it is in a game like this, it's a tool, and it can be aggravating when those tools get blocked off from you, because you don't want to use up your spells per day. And I think in the original Final Fantasy, you only got up to a maximum of nine spells per day at every level. And by the, but by the time you got to nine spells per day, you kind of... Those spells are so out of date. I mean... The original Final Fantasy wasn't very well balanced on that stuff. You know, uh, and, you know, uh, a 
again bring up Progeris series, he, he points out that there's a lot of a lot of broken mechanics in the original Final Fantasy. And uh Oh, and almost stabbed that in. Status. Alright, one more fight should be enough if we get enough imps. So, my first time of playing Final Fantasy 1, uh, my first ever RPG, what really got me started in the RPG market, was a Super Mario RPG, Legend of Seven Stars. Um, which I hope to play for you guys. Um, and I really liked it, you know, and, and it really got me started in the RPG genre. But as I pointed out before, you know, Christian family and my mom was really against any game or or TV show with magic in it. It was, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. But, you know, I kind of understand where she was trying to come from on that one. But you know, um. So I got an original Final Fantasy from a used game store here in here in Pueblo, where I'm from. And uh, you know, I, I popped that into my Nintendo, and it was a different experience than, than, um, than uh, the Super Mario RPG Legend of Seven Stars. And my mom saw. I got really lucky. I wish I never took it back, but she kind of guilt tripped me into it. Um, I actually got a copy with the original box, map, charts, and and all the monster information and all the stuff that came with the original game. Just really hard to find. It was even hard to find back then. So and so, uh, you know. Mom saw this. And she saw like the skeletons, and the, you know, and the, the the black mage and all this other stuff. And it's like, you know, Mom, it's it's just a video game. It's just a video game. I don't take them that seriously. I enjoy playing them. But that doesn't mean I'm going to suddenly start dressing up in sorcerer's robes and going to seances. Oh yeah, that's one of those. I, I don't even know what these are actually for. These gift strands. I assume it opens up. I assume it opens up when you clear clear one of the four crystals. One step? Seriously? So, uh... I am a pretty big fan of Final Fantasy, and it's not my favorite game. These are not my favorite games of all time. In fact, the only Final Fantasy that's probably in my top ten list is nine. Uh, one is pretty close. I, I would say one might be number ten in my top ten list. But, um, actually, some of my favorite RPGs of all time are not by Square Enix. Ooh, you know, shocker, right? My problem with Final Fantasy now is the over-modernization, over which started with 7. You know, and I'm gonna get flack for that if anybody actually watches me play these things. That, oh my god, somebody hates on 7. Well... Like I just said, there's... Ouch. I have my reasons for it, though. Now, does that mean I think 7's a bad game? And, and, and I hate it? No, 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 of course not. I, I've played the crap out of 7. Um, it's just... The beginning of modernization really started at 7. Kind of 6, where they kind of started it with 6. But it wasn't so heavy-handed. I mean, in seven, you start out in a modern freaking city that's drawing electricity from the earth. Let's see.
Red Mage's stats grow kind of slow at first, but they become pretty powerful. And they have huge versatility. Two stabs already, not bad. Level up! Pretty good level ups. Alright, uh, let's see. Hey, look, Star's got more HP than Solar, and Solar's a fighter. Make no mistake, the Red Mage is a fighter. They're Spellblades. They're meant to be frontline. But yet, you have such terrible stat growth at first. So, I have played every major Final Fantasy title, uh, but I haven't beaten every single one, so there are going to be a couple surprises for me along the series. Uh, Final Fantasy 1 I have beaten, but it's been years and years. This door has been locked by Mystic Key. I think that's all I can get in here for now until I get the Mystic Key, so I can move on. I don't think I have any antidote. Okay, there we go. It's got it. The king will have no choice but to exchange the kingdom for his daughter's life. Cornelia will be mine! Who's there? Right in front of you, man. The King's Lapdogs? Do you have any idea who you're messing with? You really think you have what it takes to cross swords with me? Very well, I, Garland, will knock you all down! First is very important. Like I said, they at first they kind of suck. Like their versatility is what makes them good. But um, later down the road, they really start to power up. Be, then it's like a hurdle they hit, and then all of a sudden they climb over that wall. And they'll start gaining stats, and you'll be able to start power up great magic and. Oh yeah! Solar with a killing strike! <laughs> Down go Garland! Knights will suck. You must allow me to show my gratitude. Please, accompany me to Castle Cornelia. Yeah. 
thank you for returning my daughter to my side. There can be no doubt you are the warriors of light from Lucan's prophecy. You should hear the prophecy in its entirety. <coughs> if I may, when darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. If they cannot gather the shards of light, the darkness will consume them all. The four crystals will never shine again. Now, I hear that the, that a crystal can be found on the continent to our north. Restoring the light to the crystals is our only hope of ridding the world of the monsters which play it. I will have the bridge to the north rebuilt, as I promised. I pray you succeed in restoring the light to the four crystals and to the world. I think the Final Fantasy fanfare was... This loot has been entrusted to the princesses of Cornelia for many years. Generations, sorry. When he abducted me, Garland took this loot as well. I want you to have it. It may aid you in your journey. Well, I don't really know much about playing the loot, but thank you. Voice of the morning. Orders from His Majesty. We are to do our part to fulfill Lucan's prophecy. What does this bridge have to do with the prophecy? The four warriors of might are here! They've come to Cornelia! Uh, yeah, we need to rest after that battle with Garland. Now we have more money. I want to buy a couple supplies for the trip to our next destination. something to do with some of the extra features that are here in this this version of the game there's a apparently there's a lot of special features and added bonuses I have no idea what they are uh, so. I want to make sure I have some money for the next city so we can get some spells and equipment Would you get out of the way Oh, for crying out loud. Seriously? God, this scene gives me shivers. It doesn't matter which version it is, I love this scene. So their quest began. As the four warriors of light, they felt overwhelmed. 
the great task Destiny had. They felt overwhelmed by the great task. Ah! Placed before them. Well, I've just completely messed up the intro. I am so sorry. They did not even know the true significance of the four crystals they had held in their hands. The crystals that once long ago held a light that shone so brilliantly. Time for their journey has come. The time to cast off the veil of darkness and bring the world peace. Oh, once more into the light. Damn it! I'm trying to predict it. probably my second favorite opening in RPG history. One day, probably when the Final Fantasy series is done, or might even be one of the next games coming up, Final Fantasy. And with that, we'll call that an episode! Wow! That was pretty good. Um... I hope you enjoyed this journey with you guys, and uh, I hope that you will enjoy this journey. So, thank you, and when we come back, on to the next city. So, we'll see you. We'll see you then.